And we're here at Lucas Oil Stadium in the mezzanine at the Circle City Classics Coaches Luncheon, and we're honoring the Major Taylor Award winners, Anthony Robles and Kenny Lofton. Follow me. Six-time Major League Baseball All-Star, Kenny Lofton, is a native of East Chicago, Indiana. He was a two-sport student athlete at Washington High School before playing basketball at the University of Arizona. Lofton was a point guard and made it to the final four of the 1988 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Tournament. And he set season and career school records for steals. The following year, Arizona made it to the Speed 16. Lofton is one of only two men to compete in the NCAA Final Four and Major League Baseball World Series. He was drafted in the 17th round of the Major League Baseball 1988 Amateur Draft. Lofton played 17 seasons in Major Leagues, 10 with the Cleveland Indians. During his career, he was honored with the Golden Glove Award from 1993 to 1996, given annually to commemorate the best fielding percentage at each position. In 2010, he became a member of the Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame. In 1999, he established the Kenny Lofton Youth Foundation, which is located in Arizona. The foundation is a nonprofit corporation with the mission to provide educational opportunities of underserved youth. Many of the foundation's efforts benefit the Cleveland public school system and aids underprivileged youth to pursue higher education. Um, I would like to thank the Circuit City Classic and Black Expo for for this award. I know that I grew up in here in Chicago, Indiana, and um, I went to high school. And um, after I, I went there, I went to college. Funny story is um, I. People know me for, for baseball, but I played uh, college basketball as they were saying earlier. And the um, funny story behind that, I was after the Final Four in '88. I um, I just wanted to play some more baseball, so I went out and, uh, and um, I asked the coach, "Can I um, just work out with the team?" He said, "Sure, you can come and work out." And I started working out with the team, and they had some scouts out there, so and I was running the first base, running around the bases. And these scouts had the clocks in their hands. And it was like, man, this brother can run. You know, it's like, we don't know if he can hit, he can catch. We don't know, but he can run. So that was the story about how I kind of pretty much started, uh, not started baseball, I played in high school and all that, but my college three-week career of baseball, that's what it was, three weeks. And that was it. And I ended up becoming you know, 17 years in, uh, in the major leagues. But, Again, it's just the fact that you know, I have, we all have talent, we all have a gift. You know, this man here, man, he has a gift that God has, has given him. And he's shown what he can do with it. And I think just, you know, I always try to tell the youth of the kids is we all have a gift. And we got to figure out what that gift is. And some of us run away from the gift that God has given us. And some of us have been straight ahead, straight forward. But always believe in your dreams and understand that you can do it. You can do whatever you you want if you put your mind to it and understand again, we all have gifts and when you see the gift that's put in front of you, go for it. So, but thank you all for this award. And I'm here with Cleveland Indians Major Major League Baseball Hall of Famer and he is a, a recipient of the Major Taylor Awards for the Circle City Classics of 2011. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, I know you're a recipient of this award. What does this award mean to you? Well, you know, um, I always felt, you know, growing up, I didn't have much. And then, you know, being fortunate to be in the position I'm in today, um, I just felt like if I would have had a, even though it worked out for me, but a lot of people need a little boost, a little opportunity to people to give back, to show them to, for the opportunity to get to where I am today. And going back and giving back to, you know, to the community is more so for our youth. Because I always said our youth is our future, and for me to, 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 if I can inspire one person, that's more than more than enough. But if I can inspire many, it'd be great for this, you know, for this country, for our youth to be in the position to where I am today, and to keep that going strong and show them this is how I did it. So if you can follow my path, a way I, you know, the way because I way I am today, you know, our our future can keep going strong. 
So, what does this award mean to you personally? Well, because again, because if they, because I feel that I go out there and, and I go out there, you know, in the, in the community and do a whole lot of different things, and I don't ask for no accolades about it. I just go out there and do it. And I'm glad I'm being recognized for the thing that I've done. Because again, I'm not going to go out there and and call the media every time I go out and do an event. But you know, some people do that just for the, you know, for the fame and the fortune of them doing something. But I'm just glad they recognized me, and because you know, always word of mouth and what people hear that somebody's going out and doing things. And I'm glad at this point, I'm getting this award because people have probably talked about, you know, talked to other people that hey, this guy's out there doing stuff and not trying to be in the media's face about it. But I'm glad someone saw it, and I'm, I'm like I said again, I'm happy that people are starting to see what I was, I was doing. Okay, so what's in the future? Do you have any future projects, any future um, community service events that you want people to know about, that you want people to support? Well, at this point, I do a lot of things with the uh, with our Urban Youth Academy, baseball academies, and I think that's big right now because in in the uh, in the African American you know African American community, the the baseball is going down something that I, I feel sadly about because we have some good players out there, young players out there who are African American are not given that opportunity. So I want to, you know, I'm, I'm doing different things in the youth academies to try to keep these kids motivated to keep going because we need some of the African Americans in baseball because it's starting to dwindle. It's not good. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it and I wish you much, much success in the future. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me. As a freshman in Arizona State University, Robles redshirted and finished sixth in the 2006 FILA Junior World Championship in freestyle wrestling category. While at ASU, he won the Pac-10 Conference Wrestling at 125 pounds three times and earned three NCAA All-American honors. He qualified as a Pac-10 Conference finalist and as an NCAA qualifier all four years of his intercollegiate career. He concluded his senior year with a record of 46 and zero and an NCAA championship at 125 pounds. In addition to his victory, he was named Outstanding Wrestler at the 2011 NCAA Wrestling Championship. Robles set two career records and two single season records at ASU and finished his career ranked eighth in wins. He has reached the pinnacle of collegiate wrestling in spite of being born with one leg. Robles is the first wrestler with one leg to win an NCAA Division I title. Though Anthony has retired, yes, that's worth the applause. Though Anthony has retired from wrestling and is embarking on a career as a motivational speaker, wrestling will continue to be a part of his life as he plans to plans on working as a coach and mentor to young wrestlers. Anthony was also the recipient of two awards at this year's ESPY celebration. He won for the best male athlete with a disability as well as the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance. The Jimmy V Award for Perseverance is given to a member of the sporting world who has overcome great obstacles through physical perseverance and determination. Join me in congratulating Anthony Robles as the 2011 Major Taylor Award winner. Thank you. I started wrestling back when I was a freshman in high school, and I wasn't very good. But I remember one thing my coach told me. He enrolled me in a national tournament in my first tournament, and I was ranked last in my city going in. So I'm not very, 
I'm not expecting much for myself. I'm nervous. I told you. If you train with the best and you wrestle with the best, you're going to learn something from the best. And then you're going to be the best. So I always took that with me. Not just wrestling, I took that off the mat to my life. And now that I'm getting into motivational speaking, I'm trying to surround myself with the best, the best speakers. So I just read this book recently. It was about world leaders, world heroes. And one of those world heroes was from South Africa, this nation, and now he's considered a great hero. He died at age 12, and he's still considered one of the greatest world leaders of South Africa today. His quote, though, he was dying in a hospital, and they asked him, what do you want to leave the world? And he said, do what you can with what you have, with the time you have left. And that was the last thing he said. And that meant a lot to me. I'll never forget that. And that's, that's what I try to do. Do the best with what I have. I'm not worried about what I don't have, missing the leg. I'm just going to focus on what I do have while I move forward. And my goal is to help change the world for the better. But thank you very much. This is a huge honor. And I'm here with Anthony Robles, and he is the recipient of the Taylor Award here at the Circle City Classics. Anthony, how are you today? I'm doing very well. First time in Indiana. I'm loving it. Well, congratulations on your not on your award. What does this award mean to you? And also, please tell us about what's going on in your life. Uh, winning the uh, Major Taylor Award today, it's a huge honor for me. You know, it, it's just amazing. Uh, as soon as they contacted me, I did my research on, on what the award meant. And it's very humble and it's just, I feel very fortunate to be here. Yeah, so, okay, the award is for community service. Can you tell me what started you on your path to being um, a, a servant for the community nationally and locally? Uh, what started me and it was what people did for me. When I started out, especially in wrestling, I was terrible. But there was those people who behind, behind me, they supported me. They believed in me. And this is my way of giving back and saying thank you. I want to be able to help people like individuals help me and help, to, help them to get to their goals, their dreams. So what, you're a motivational speaker now. And can you tell me, I know you speak to colleges and high schools around the country. What is your message? What's your mission? Uh, my main message is that we can all be unstoppable. You know, we all wrestle with our own opponents. Maybe it's physical, maybe it's family issues, work issues, maybe it's just the environment we grow up in. But that doesn't have to stop us from achieving our goals. We can always rise above those challenges and be unstoppable. Well, thank you so much, Anthony Robles, and congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me. Thank you for joining us here at the Circle City Classic Luncheon, the Coaches Luncheon, honoring Kenny Lofton and Anthony Robles, recipients of the Major Taylor Awards. Thank you for joining me. I'm Faith McKinney with ICIndyMag.com. Follow me.